Hi guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. This is Mex from Mex Creation TV. Uh, right in front of me today, uh, I'm standing in front of what we call the Independence Moment. Uh, most of you who have moved to Uganda, or most of you have visited Uganda, you actually know what I'm talking about. One of the very important, beautiful heritage we have in the city centre is what we call the Independence Moment. This moment, it was just established, or it was just established, or uh, just to signify uh, Uganda's birth. Actually, when Uganda got its independence away from the colonial world, it is one of the major area heritage that was, uh, was commemorated just to signify uh, Uganda's freedom away from the colonial world. Right in front of me, is, I'm trying to show you how it's very beautiful actually. And, uh, it's actually not far away from the city centre. Actually, it's just, it's just in the middle. One of the very important heritage we have in the middle of the city centre. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, it's pretty very beautiful for people who have moved to Uganda. You can really believe and you can really know what I'm talking about. So if you want to visit Uganda, please, you can just have a, a look at this that I'm talking about. Uh, it shows the Uganda's uh, independence away from what we call the colonial world. So it's pretty very good and um, actually uh, for people who are planning to visit Uganda, you can have some, some kind of this uh, some kind of these heritage views uh, free of charge away from just in the middle of the city centre that you can have uh, at this time. Remember the independence was uh, granted to Uganda on October 9th, October 1962. And uh, the, that time, under the leadership of uh, the Prime Minister, Milton Obote, and the President at that time was what uh, uh, our own Kabaka that Mutesa won. And so move with me with around me, move with me as we try. I try to show you how it looks like, and uh, I show exactly how this uh, heritage is in the middle, or what we have in the middle of this, uh, this uh, the city that really gives you a very good ambience and uh, a beautiful view that you can you can really have a look at without even a cost at one moment of time.
this is a brief of what I, I, I want to show you actually. And here too is the independence moment and we are seeing the photos of um, the former presidents, the Kabakas of Uganda, when power or when power or independence was being granted to uh, the Republic of Uganda at that time. And I think this was the exact point where uh, uh, they had to, to hand over power on that day, which was 9th October. Um, 1962 from Britain and it says that Uganda gained high independence on 9th October 1962 from Britain with the post election which were held 1962 won by alliances between UDC, UPC and Kabakai Kaputin Sapolo, Milton Obote as the Uganda's first Prime Minister and Sir Edward Mutesa to first President of Uganda. That was 9th October 1962 and it says, further it says that the moment is one of the most important pieces of Uganda's heritage. It signifies a newborn country, let free from colonial rule. The moment was established to commemorate what we call the Uganda's independence. This is what it's here. So guys, you've never visited this place, at least you can have a clear view and see what it's like. Uh, just opposite, we have what we call the Sheraton Hotels, and this is how exactly the place looks like. It's pretty very interesting and very good place. So for those guys that have not seen around, it's quite an interesting area that you can have at a given period of time. It's quite very interesting and with kind of peace of mind that you can have at a given period of time. So definitely, when we talk about a lot of things, we are talking about the independence. In many ways, one of the most important pieces of Uganda's heritage is achieving what we call the independence. That is 1962. It was just an happier moment that anyone could live on having at a given period of time. It is something that you can have, not even pay for it, because it is just in the middle of the city center. You just have to take a foot, just move around, see what is happening, you enjoy the beauty of the country. So for those that are planning to come into the country, you can definitely have this kind of share of the view. You can have this good, very beautiful scenery and have it given to you that you can enjoy the country. So for anyone that is planning to visit the country, at least you can have a look at this moment. Just one of the city centre walkaway attractions that you can see, which is a very beautiful and unelegant, beautiful and uh, a heritage for the country Uganda. So we see this is a city centre that you can see and that's how exactly it looks like. So we take through what we call the moment. It's uh, a pretty very good and this is what I was talking about. We see independence moment, we see the people, we see unwrapping, seeing that a newborn at this time is being born. So most people come chilling here, I think it's gradually. Everyone is allowed to do that, everyone is allowed to do that. And you see what it moves like and how the whole area looks like. This is pretty very important and this is exactly what we call the Uganda heritage. So for those planning to visit Uganda, this, this is one side that you can enjoy yourself and you can have yourself or you can enjoy uh, seeing or viewing at a given period of time. So enjoy the whole area as I try to talk through, I try to show you all the gardens, I try to show you exactly what the whole area is all about. It's moving. This is an important heritage of Uganda, just in the middle of the city. Just right over here, there you see people relaxing. Uh, it's all with green and a very conducive environment uh, that anyone can access. Anyone one can access and uh, enjoy the scenery uh, or enjoy the beauty at the time. So this is exactly what we're talking about. Just in the middle of the city center, when we talk right over that side, we have what we call the Imperial Hotel. The Imperial Hotel, then down there we have what we call the Airtel, Ghana Telecom Business Center. We have the Standard uh, uh, Chartered Bank, just over that side. And when you move on this road that takes you to the extreme end, we have what we call Spink Road. So we also have what we call um, Sheraton Gardens. 
that is moving right over that side. So it's, 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 it's really very interesting and very nice for those that have not visited this place at the time. So you better move around, move to Kampala, then you can try to enjoy the little beauty that you have at a given time. And this is exactly what I'm talking about at a given period of time. Still this. Let us continue trying to move around with this road and see what it's like, uh, what the whole people or what the whole place is all like, and see what what's the nature of the distance and what people are exactly doing at a given period of time. Is exactly what we're talking about. We we are talking about that kind of cohesive environment. We are talking about it exactly the cohesive environment someone would have or someone would share at a given period of time. And this is this is extremely very very interesting. For those that have not visited a country like Dubai, it's quite interesting. You can have all these views for free, free of charge without even paying. In the middle of the city center, that a memory to remember or uh, memories to have in an image of place, which is quite very interesting at the time. So, this is exactly exactly what we're talking about. And uh, right now, here I'm just moving on that street. Uh, that's one called uh, Nakasero Lane. I'm just moving to that lane. I'm trying to move around the edge uh, of the whole area. Uh, I talk about the Imperial Hotel. That's why it over me. It's just for the Imperial Hotel. You see, the street is very busy. The day is very busy. People moving, people going back to work. Remember, we've been under the 42 lockdown days that where there was no trans uh, public transport, uh, not even any private car that is allowed to go. Only those essential activities or any essential professions that we allowed to move at that time. So, being lifted, that the lockdown was lifted, but now people are trying to enjoy back their freedom. But remember, COVID, COVID-19 has had what you call disastrous effects, not only to not only to low developing countries. But to economies of different worlds, we look at economies, we look at the education sector, we look at the oil industries have been affected. But remember, the only way to fight this, we should get vaccinated. That's the only option that we have. Let us try to be safe. Let us, let us put on the mask. Let us practice what we call social distancing. Let us try, let us try to protect one another. Let us try to follow the SOPs that are being directed or by given by the ministries of either public health in your country, such that we can try to protect one another from the disaster that or from the pandemic of COVID-19 that has caused to the economy or the global economy of the world. So exactly when I talk about the street, this is what I'm talking about. It's actually a very busy street. Right now is uh, we have here is just we have the junction that is taking you downtown and uh, taking you just to the other side of the road. So it's pretty very interesting. It's just free of charge. You enjoy the scenery. 
you know, and kind of son of God. You don't have to pay for it. You do not have to pay for it. So this is exactly what I'm talking about, and uh, it's kind of been very interesting. Right? So for those that have not enjoyed, so you can still enjoy this other area and have your concert. So this is how it's busy. This is how busy the street is, and how busy the evening is. Everyone rushing back to go. Everyone rushing to go back to work. Remember, curfew time starts at exactly 7 7 p.m. until 5:30 a.m. in the morning. So it's pretty kind of interesting in this pandemic era, where that everyone has to take safety of him or herself or take safety of the family. Otherwise, while we still have to follow what you call the SOP, that is. Uh, uh, the SOP is given by the Ministry of Health and Public Health in a given area. So remember, putting on a mask is one way. Social distancing and getting vaccinated is one way that we need to have as the only option that we can let ourselves get out of this pandemic era. By the way, thank you for always tuning to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Those that have not subscribed and those that have managed to send comments, I'm always very glad. You always move me with me as I try to take you through around very interesting things in around Kampara in Uganda where we can have a smile, where we can try to discover some of the very interesting and beautiful things we have in a small country like Uganda. Thank you guys. I'll see you again and see you later guys.